Phoenix to Ambuchang is a long ways. It's like a four-day trip <laughs> and a bus that only goes 35 miles an hour. I don't think this is going to make it. Shufu <laughs> called the, up one time on the phone. I was in the office, he called me. You have time? He always used to say that. Yes, sir, I have time. <laughs> he goes, there is this person who got in jail and he wants to donate his bus. He's living on a bus and he wants to donate his bus. So you have time, you can go? I said, okay, sir, where is it? He says, it's in Phoenix, Arizona. I said, oh, he says, yeah, go to Phoenix, Arizona and drive the bus back. Oh, okay, sir, you have money? Uh, not very much. You can take some money. Uh, take $200. I said, okay. I didn't think $200 would be enough, <laughs> but I didn't dare say so. I went to, to the jail and this, they brought this guy out and he, apparently he had taken refuge with Shurfu up in Vancouver and he got caught because he was selling Chinese medicine over the mail. So he got arrested for that and put in jail. <laughs> so he says, I have a bus you can take. It's an old bus, but he, that's what he wants to give the sheriff for. I said, okay. So I went to the, where his bus was, it was <laughs> and it was really, really old. I mean, like 1940s. <laughs> really old school bus he was living in. And he converted it, put a carpet in there, and a chair, and a bed. He had a, like a microwave. <laughs> it was like a, like a little mobile home. But it was a really old kind of dirty old thing. It wasn't worth hardly any money. You 你要没有诚心，你供养多也是少。你要有诚心，供养少也就是多。这样用你一种真心来行这供养。And the tire, the wheels, the tires were bald. In other words, they all the all the tread is gone on the tire, so they're just smooth, round. And I have, I have my little two hundred dollars. Couldn't possibly buy a new tire with two hundred dollars. So I said, well, I'm just going to have to drive on these tires, even though they can pop any minute because they're just bald. They don't even have any tread. I got the thing started. At least the engine ran. So we got it started and we I started driving down the highway. But the tires were so bald and this, they were out around. They, they weren't round anymore. <laughs> they, they were kind of oblong. <laughs> so when you go more than 35 miles an hour, the bus is going wah, 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 wah. So I said, oh, me tofu. So I started reciting Guan Yin and driving. He said, well, Guan Yin, it's going to be up to you because I don't think this is going to make it. <laughs> I just barely had enough money to put gas in it. So Phoenix to Swampachung is a long ways. It's like a four-day trip <laughs> and a bus that only goes 35 miles an hour. I drove all the way through the hot desert and waiting for the, I'm waiting every minute for the pirate tire to blow up because it was so hot. And still I'm reciting Guan Yin and it didn't blow up. I said, oh, whew. Then I drove over Donner's Pass. Now there's this mountain you have to go over, the Sierra, the Sierra Mountains. So you have to climb, long, climb, 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 climb. Then you go down the other side. I didn't know if the bus was gonna make it over there because it's not very strong. It's a very old bus. And I was going like 15 miles an hour, 10 miles an hour, whoa, 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 whoa. And finally gets over the top. It took all day to get up there. Then it came down the other side. I said, whoa, I might make it after all. I only had like 10 more dollars, 20 more dollars for gas. I couldn't afford any kind of problem. It's late at night, I'm gonna pull over and stay overnight, sleep, and then go out in the morning. So I pulled over the side of the road and then slept and that, then I got up to leave. The bus was stuck because <laughs> it was muddy there. I didn't notice that night, but when I pulled the bus over, it was very muddy. And when I tried to leave, it goes, Woo. then the engine completely stopped. I said, oh, me tofu, I'm in trouble now. 
uh, within a minute or two, a guy in a tow truck stopped, pulled up alongside. Oh, you have a problem? And he opened the hood. He said, oh, it's this regulator. It's a very old regulator. You can't find these anymore. This bus is so old. But I have one in my garage. <laughs> I have this one regulator. I said, really? Yeah, I, I have one. I, I don't know, I, I've kept it for years. I, I'll, uh, I'll sell it to you. Uh, so much money. I said, well, I'm afraid I only have um, no money. <laughs> he says, oh, well, he was inside the bus with me. He said, how about that old black and white TV? This guy, he had this little black and white TV. I can trade you the black and white TV. He says, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll take that. <laughs> so he went and put the regulator in and got it going. And that bus started up and ran. And I, and the, still the p tires have still not popped yet. So I, I drove all the way to Wampachung, reciting Guan Yin, because I, I was running out of gas by that time and no more money at all. So Sir Fu had figured it out exactly right. $200 exactly to get the bus to Wampachung. <laughs>